so I've done the normal procedures. I've washed my hands, I'm donning gloves, I've provided privacy, I've explained the procedure to the patient, I've assembled my items, and also gotten the bed in the position that I wanted in. Remember with the catheter, you always want it flowing independently and freely towards the foot, lower than the bladder. In the real world, there may be some type of securing device on the upper thigh. You may or may not have that during the Florida CNA examination. Okay. All right, so we've checked the water temperature. And now I want you to repeat after me. Wash, wash, rinse, rinse, dry, dry. Wash, wash, rinse, rinse, dry, dry. I folded my washcloth, I wrung it well. Make sure the nurse um, has already checked it, my water temperature. And if you remember from our previous videos, we fold our washcloths into a quarter and we peel back each time we wash. For the state of Florida examination, your water must always remain clean. You apply soap directly to a wet washcloth. Let's begin the washing process. Outer, outer, center. Wipe down and change. I'm going to move your leg a little. Wipe down and change. I'm going to wipe above the catheter. I'm going to change spots. I'm going to raise the catheter gently without tugging. I'm going to wipe the center beneath the catheter. Wash, wash. You cannot wash, rinse, and dry the vagina with a dirty catheter. So it's going to be wash the vagina followed by wash the catheter. Remember, whenever we're cleaning the catheter, we don't want to tug. That's going to cause pain to our patient. So we're going to pinch at the insertion point. I'm going to start cleaning your catheter now. Talk to your patient as you, um, as you perform the skills. I'm going to take this washcloth that has one drop of soap. I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to go down about three to four inches. I'm going to change positions. I'm going to repeat that process for a total of three times. trying to get as close as I can without tugging. That was wash, wash. What's the next steps? We're going to have to rinse and rinse. So we're going to get a new washcloth, going to wring it out. And now we're going to rinse the same way that we washed. Down, change, down, change, above the catheter, change, gently lift the catheter, wipe down the center. Now, whenever you are rinsing your catheter, even though you had to wash it three times, you only have to rinse it once. Before I start rinsing, what do I have to do? If you said secure the catheter, you're absolutely correct. So I'm going to secure the catheter, I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to clean, excuse me, rinse down about three to four inches. Awesome. We can't leave our residence wet. So once we have washed and rinsed both the vagina and the catheter. We're now going to dry. We're gonna go down, go down, go down. If you notice, I'm always changing positions. Go down, and now whenever I dry, I'm gonna pinch, pull down gently. For the state of Florida examination, you would have placed a pad before catheter care, and at the end of your skill, you have to remove the pad. In the real world, usually there's always pads beneath your patients. However, for the test, don't forget, catheter care, place the pad, and then remove it at the end. If you need to see how to place a pad, just go back to our perineal care video, and it will show you how to do so. All right, everybody, it's Nurse Eunice with Florida Training Academy. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up share it with a friend don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you're here in jacksonville florida or if you're in the florida area we provide hands-on cna exam prep classes in two days which are perfect for pre-med and pre-nursing students all right everybody have a great day bye